I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Miles Taylor, who served as the former chief of staff of the United States Department of Homeland Security in the Trump administration and then left and called out the horrific policies of the Trump administration, is publishing a new book. It's called Blowback, A Warning to Save Democracy from the Next Trump. Also notable about Miles Taylor. Taylor authored the September 2018 New York Times op-ed entitled, I am part of the resistance inside the Trump administration under the name Anonymous. We'll talk about that in a little bit. One of the excerpts from the book Blowback was released today and in it, this is what it says. And this was Miles Taylor's firsthand experience in interacting with Donald Trump and Trump's then chief of staff, John Kelly. And it is very notable that Miles Taylor worked under John Kelly. So Miles Taylor is close with John Kelly. There are witnesses to this. Here's what is said, and it is beyond, beyond creepy and disgusting. But we all know this, I think, about Donald Trump. Quote, AIDS said that Donald Trump talked about Ivanka Trump's breasts, her backside, and what it might be like to have sex with her. Remarks that once led former Chief of Staff John Kelly to remind Donald Trump that Ivanka was his daughter. It got to such a problematic point. I mean, saying it once is problematic, but Trump would talk about this all the time. So his chief of staff, John Kelly, had to tell Donald Trump to stop it. By the way, uh, Donald Trump now despises his former chief of staff, John Kelly, says that John Kelly was not qualified. He's one of a number of people who Donald Trump hired, who Donald Trump now disparages. This story about how Donald Trump disgustingly would talk about his own daughter, Ivanka, reminds me of a video that we made here on the Midas Touch Network during the 2020 elections that went mega viral. And we even bought uh, a spot on Fox with this ad, I believe. Uh, let me play this video right now. It's called Creepy Trump, and it is a video in the early stages of Midas Touch that uh, we created here. Play this clip. A lot of really creepy statements, uh, actions for sure, but statements that he's made in the past that make me very uncomfortable, um, certainly as a mother, but as a person who breathes air. You going up the escalator? Yeah. I'm gonna be dating her in 10 years. Yeah. Really creepy, creepy statements. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? Stop it. Oh, it's so weird. Stop You know what, you are sick. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me very uncomfortable that he would look at certain other Americans the way he apparently has in the past. What does Tiffany have of Marlon? She's got Marlon's legs. Creepy. We don't know whether or not she's got this part yet, but time will tell. <laughs> What's Creepy. the favorite thing you have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate that. He's definitely not a typical father. Creepy. Creepy. I mean, beyond disgusting. Some other excerpts from the book Blowback will blow your mind away. Although as Midas Touch Network viewers, I think we intuitively know this about Donald Trump, but seeing these experiences talked about is certainly, uh, in writing like this, is just demonstrates how unqualified and how disgraceful Donald Trump is. This is from the book, quote, I'll never forget an ex-Trump cabinet member telling me that Donald Trump is truly the most evil person that I have ever met. Quote, we cannot make this mistake again, the cabinet member told Miles Taylor. Uh, in responding to some of the press about his book Blowback and regarding how Donald Trump was talking about Ivanka constantly, Miles Taylor states, he's a very sick man, 
He's unfit for any office, and somehow he's leading the GOP field. Of course, Miles Taylor, former Republican. I mean, to see what's happened to the modern day Republican Party. Look, Miles Taylor is a friend of the Midas Touch Network. We're going to have him on in a little bit to talk about his book, Blowback. But to, you know, someone like a Miles Taylor, someone we could have a conversation with. Me and Miles may disagree on some issues, but fundamentally, we support our democracy here. So, uh, that's the way it should be. We we may have differences in, in politics and policies, but I think we both care. I know we both care about our democracy. This is from Miles Taylor as well. He goes, Trump's chief of staff, my former boss, estimated that one third of Donald Trump's ideas were flat out illegal. America can't afford a repeat. Quote, among us friends, let's be honest. Donald Trump's former chief of staff and Miles Taylor's boss said, quote, about third of the things Donald Trump wants us to do are flat out stupid. Another third would be impossible to implement and wouldn't even solve the problem. And a third of them would be flat out illegal. So one third stupid, one third impossible, one third flat out illegal, illegal. Uh, Here is another part of the book. Uh, The book Blowback talks about how Donald Trump's top aide, Stephen Miller, who was also giving Trump advice on immigration, advocated for using United States drones in 2018 to blow up migrant boats full of unarmed civilians. That is in the book as well. According to Miles Taylor, this is how Trump talked about America's neighbors. Quote, you know why we need this? Trump continued pointing to a photo of the border wall on his desk that Mexico never paid for and that Donald Trump didn't complete. And Donald Trump said, because Mexico is a hellhole. Have I said that yet? Because it is. It's a hellhole. And no one effing wants that place. There's another excerpt right here where Donald Trump wanted to wiretap his staff, as Michael Taylor said. Not the move of a man who thinks the team, that his team loves him. Goes on to say how Donald Trump's paranoia was causing him to unravel, so much so that he wanted to spy on his immediate lieutenants. He allegedly told aides that he wanted to, quote, tap the phones of the White House staff to find out who was leaking damaging stories about him to the media. Chief of Staff John Kelly quickly nixed the suggestion, knowing it would be illegal. Uh, Let me also read here. This is one of the things that Miles Taylor posted. He goes, History warns us to be wary of a leader who pretends to be a, quote, man of the people, but detests working men and women, too. Acts like a dealmaker, but easily breaks promises. Three, Ignores experts, but is said to be seduced by himself during his own speeches. Four, calls for opponents to be locked up, but frets about getting convicted himself. Five, manipulates the media for personal gain, but attacks the, quote, lying press as enemies. Six, vows to root out corruption, but abuses official powers. Seven, claims to have the best lieutenants, but surrounds himself with psychophants. Eight, Relishes supporters' violence, but keeps enough distance to avoid charges of incitement. Nine, knows small lies aren't believable, but, quote, big lies become gossipal. Ten, builds his cause around a pledge to make the country great again while threatening its very foundations. Miles Taylor goes on to say, this is a description of Adolf Hitler drawn from biographies of the man. Others have sought to follow in his footsteps. Finally, Miles Taylor um, in his book also quotes former GOP Congressman Rep Riggleman, who put it best in an interview for the book Blowback, that Republicans privately say Trump is probably high on meth, and yet they still bow down to him. Here's the passage from the book. Former GOP Congressman Denver Riggleman, who was elected from Virginia in 2018, 
recalled that it felt like a hostage situation on the House floor. He was expecting to support the MAGA movement or else. Quote, as soon as I won, I realized what I'd gotten myself into, he shared with me. Quote, I found that votes had nothing to do with policy, but with complete loyalty to Donald Trump. I just found it amazing that the other representatives were so subservient while they privately mocked Trump as, quote, probably being high on meth, he said. At first, Riggleman towed the party line. He campaigned as a Trump supporter, but then ultimately changed his way. Folks, get get blowback. Um, Miles Taylor isn't even telling me to say that, but, but I'm gonna get a copy of this as well. I think I got a copy of it already. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely recommend it though here on the Midas Touch uh, Network. Those are some great excerpts. Uh, check it out. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 1.5 million subscribers thanks to your support. Check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch wherever you get audio podcasts. Subscribe to the Midas Touch podcast and have a great day. Hit subscribe on our YouTube. At Midas Touch, we are unapologetically pro-democracy and we demand justice and accountability. That's why we're spreading our message to Convict 45. That's right, gear up right now with your Convict 45 tees and pins at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.